12 News is here. Our local election headquarters. We're looking ahead to Election Day tomorrow and what voters can expect when going to the polls to cast their ballot. The Rhode Island Board of Elections says they are expecting nearly half the voter turnout at the polls than in past elections. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now with the details. Anita. Well, thank you, Mike. Nearly 300,000 Rhode Island voters are expected to cast their ballot at the polls tomorrow on Election Day. But a record number of people, of people have voted early or by mail, including the oldest Rhode Island voter who cast their ballot so far at 109 years old. Tens of thousands of Rhode Islanders decided to vote early at their city or town hall for this election. About 175,000 requested to vote by mail. That includes Emma Peza of Johnston. At 109 years old, so far, the Secretary of State's office says she is the oldest Rhode Islander to cast their ballot this year. I have to make sure I know what, what I'm doing and vote for the one, right party. The first presidential election Peza voted in was when Herbert Hoover and Franklin Roosevelt faced off in 1932. There wasn't so much commotion in those days. Peza has practiced her right to vote ever since and her secret to living so long. Because God was good to me and I throw in a southern comfort once in a while. <laughs> like Peza, many voted by mail because of the pandemic. The Board of Elections says polling locations in Rhode Island will have far fewer in-person voters this year. And if you are voting at the polls, plan on wearing a mask and keep your distance. There will be poll workers that will be masked and uh, will have gloves. As of Monday afternoon, 294,000 Rhode Islanders voted so far. Of that, 138,000 voted early in person and about 155,000 mail ballots were received by the Board of Elections. And as a reminder, polls open at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning and close at 8 o'clock at night. For more information on how to vote, we have a helpful voter guide listed on our website at WPRI.com. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.